I wanted to show you guys something a little bit different than what I usually do. Usually it's something with code. I've got more stuff with code coming, but I didn't want this to be just another coding channel. So I do stuff with data science and I did do this dashboard here and I just wanted to show you guys some stuff. So if you're trying to be a data scientist, this is some things that you may be interested in. So up here, I just have a real estate property management dashboard. I made the background in PowerPoint and then I just exported it as a image file. And so all this is an image and then I just got the icons from the internet somewhere and this was natively inside Power BI these house icons here so you see we've got total properties and you can see the good condition bad condition very good condition and it's all done by percentages we've got a little graph in the corner here and we've got the property floor separated out and the cool thing about these dashboards is you can click here and as you can see everything changes so now we're only looking at the two floor properties and you see all these numbers have changed and if you want to go back you can just click it again and now we can click over here for the first floor and now our total properties go down to 11k so that's about half of our properties I click again goes back to 22k you can do the same thing up here and as you separate the categories it reflects each number that you have then I have it so you click location and now you can see all over the United States area so as you can see I, I did some of the math so the math was a little bit off here so it's got one and a half floors two and a half floors three and a half floors that's technically incorrect but i don't i was told that's the proper way to do it so you can zoom out zoom in and so if i want to go this is just the area that's in Florida. Click it again. Let's say we want to go to California. And as you can see, the numbers at the bottom here, they change as well as the dashboard changes. And it just, I didn't put anything for the about section but this is just something that if you're a data scientist or data analyst, something that you would probably do. Let's say you work for a real estate firm. I just wanted to give you guys a little different type of project. And if you want to get into the space, this might be a good project to try yourselves We've got renovated not renovated we have has a waterfront and no no waterfront and yeah and there's I didn't put any special filters on it I just clean the data from a very large data sheet and I actually ended up having to delete stuff it was a very long process. The longest process, I would say, is the actual cleaning of the data. Once the data gets clean, everything else is just basically drag and drop and just getting the right positioning for everything. And yep, and that's all I had to show you guys.